543 k's of uh, stage, so it's going to be a long day. They're expecting five hours, so pretty fast, but uh, with the weather conditions, I don't know if it's going to be that quick. Yeah, it's quite a long one. Um, I think it will be quite fast though, so, uh, but still, you know, it's more than five hours driving time, so it'll be, uh, you know, not so easy. Ah, oh, look, I mean, the turbo cars definitely have an advantage as this altitude, so I expect the minis to be fast today. Um, you know, we, we will try and do as best we can and try and, try and hang in there. Well, obviously, it's a bit um, you know, cooler today. Um, you know, we, we, we've gone through Rockstone, a lot of work on the road book. Um, you know, we're obviously starting a bit further back than what we'd like to, but uh, you know, it's obviously a long day and we'd like to try and see if we can get past a couple of cars uh, before we head into the dunes. Well, it was good and bad really. We went to third position, which is all good stuff. But we knew we were going to take pain today because the, uh, the stage was all above 3,400 meters of the lowest point. I think up to 4,470. So at the higher altitude, as we know well in Joburg, the performance uh, is reduced considerably, but at 3,500 meters, it's reduced a lot. I think that uh, Janil is like 46 minutes behind uh, Roma. I don't know, maybe 18 or something, or, or less maybe to Stefan. So we still got a long way to go. I, I feel sorry for Leroy and Job, Rob uh, today. Uh, they were starting 26, it was wet, so the stages were not so dusty, you know, damp. And I really thought that Leroy had a good chance to finish in the top 10, right behind uh, Janiel. But uh, it wasn't going to be. Something uh, jammed on the steering today. Not a hydraulic problem, nothing that we've had before. They found some problem, I didn't understand what it was, and eventually after three hours or so, they got the car running.